Hey, welcome Guardian XOC. I'd like to keep this intro short for the video. Uh, if you haven't seen the video previously where we covered the motherboard that's on the system right now, it'll be linked down in the description below. I recommend you watch that before you watch this because it kind of goes over how I've modded the motherboard and parts of what we're uh, going to be doing the system today, but we are also going to still take a closer look at that and we'll do that right now. Here's the setup. Of course, we've got the M3N78VM uh, with all the mods. You can't really see them now because we've got the pot. I finally got some proper insulation around it. Uh, this smaller pot is on the chipset. That's where most of the drives is going to be going. I did also add some VRMs, uh, VRM heat sinks. I'll have this fan over it. They're not the best heat sinks, but they will help quite a bit. Of course, we got the HD3450 for video output. Uh, same Intel SSD and CX600M. This time, of course, we not only have the temperature probe, which is connected to the CPU, though I don't plan on bringing it too low. Uh, we also have my multimeter set for checking V core, which we'll be adjusting, if you didn't see the last video, with this potentiometer zip tied right here. And then we also have four gigabytes of DDR2, uh, 800 megahertz, uh, in single channel. When we get to a full benching test system, I'll definitely have uh, two four gigabyte sticks uh, for dual channel memory. Now, I'm not sure how long we're going to be able to make this video because right now all I have is this much dry ice, just pretty much one thermos full. And I have to use that on both the chipset and the CPU. So we'll see how far we can get with that. My main goal with this video is just to uh, max out the reference clock and hopefully get over 300, which would be really nice for uh, full benching sessions. Okay, so a bit of a problem with the BIOS. For whatever reason, I can't recreate getting a reference clock of 284 like I had before that was rock solid stable uh, on ambient cooling. So I've decided um, I'm gonna just reset everything and then kind of start from scratch. This may take a little while. We'll probably eat up a bit of dry ice, but you know, you do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna just go off camera for a while and uh, I'll get started on that. Okay, so turns out resetting was actually a really good idea because I did manage to get it back up to 284, as we'll see here. 284 megahertz. And uh, I actually have both the HT Link and the memory both overclocked. Uh, still, I haven't bothered um, changing the multipliers. I think I only stepped them down both once. And uh, of course, we're leaving the CPU pretty well underclocked. So right now, I do have some dry ice in the pot. So it's sitting at about 20 degrees. And uh, there's well, not really any dry ice left in here, but the, this is still very cold. And so yeah, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this down in temperature. And uh, then, well, probably gonna need some more dry ice in there as well. And in case you're wondering, this here is just to help insulate the top. Uh, just keeps, you know, a little bit more heat out and that dry ice lasts a bit longer. So yeah, I'm just gonna take down some temperatures and then we're going to try for 285. All right, try for 285 megahertz on the reference clock. And here we go. Hopefully it works. Okay, um, unfortunately it doesn't look like it wants to be working. I think I'll give it one more shot. I'll just let the, let the dry sit a little bit longer and hopefully the temperature just goes low enough. But at this point I don't think this motherboard is going to exactly be a uh, record breaking motherboard. Okay, we're going for the second attempt now. Um, it is starting to get pretty cold on the PCB of the motherboard around the chipset, so I'm going to say the chipset's probably at about negative 60 or negative 70 right now. I did not put a thermal probe uh, under this pot, I probably should have, but I don't want to leave it long enough that condensation starts forming all around the motherboard. Uh, 
Come on. I don't think it's working. Okay. I'll try reusing the voltages on the motherboard and north bridge as well. Those didn't work on air, but hopefully they'll work on dry ice. I doubt it. We'll see. We'll come back to this in a moment. Okay, so as you saw from that, we weren't able to get to 285, which is kind of disappointing. I had hoped this motherboard's chipset would allow it to at least reach 300. Um, so we'll probably do some benching on this in the next video, or some video down the future. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't know what to take away from this. Don't buy this motherboard if you want to try to break any records. Though, if you want to just bench on cheap, this motherboard only cost me $23 on eBay. So, yeah, it uh, doesn't scale the temperature. Downclocking the HT link further didn't help. Downclocking the RAM didn't help. I should probably get those fingers in the shot. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Although, since I do have dry ice and there, the pot is uh, currently below ambient, I'm thinking we're still gonna try to test out these mods and try to go for a high Cinebench run. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we just finished last pass of Cinebench R15, and it's sitting at 117 uh, for the score. And we're at 3.37 gigahertz. Now, if I could get the, uh, the base clock, or sorry, reference clock, all the way to 284, and it's still stable, um, you know, with some higher voltage, we, in theory, should be able to hit about 3.5 5 gigahertz I believe. We will do a benching session but we'll probably aim to uh, to just get a score primarily to break the record for uh, Cinebench 15. We'll, we'll definitely do some of those higher point records too just to see how close we can get and uh, yeah I guess that's kind of it. So I guess I'll close the video off here. Um, if you liked it you can like it. If you didn't like it you can dislike it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please and comment below because I really would like to know what you guys think, what do you want to see. So uh, yeah, see y'all later.